I am here to talk about the history of Bonnie or Lord Olem. I met Bonnie in the year 2000 when I was uh, at Nakasongo Nama Secondary School. At the time, I was the entertainment prefect. One moment, the very first time I remember Bonnie approaching me was when he came and said, Ricky, I want to be the next entertainment prefect. I told him, well, no worries, let's see how it will go. One thing I remember about Bonnie in school is that he was a lover of art. He loved acting, he was very active in the music, dance and drama club and was always interested and excited about uh, art. I think Bonnie's success story starts way back in school, especially secondary school, uh, when he takes on a leadership role as the entertainment prefect. Um, and then being part of the school dramas, yeah, being part of the school um, MDD club, uh, taking major roles in school dramas, singing and dancing, writing plays, major plays at that point. So I think that's when the ripples were starting to come. You know, those were the ripples that started a big gush that we see right now, 21 years later. My name's Erin uh, Vazongiri Narongo. I met Bonnie some 1,000 years ago. <laughs> Good day to you all and uh, congratulations to you, Bonnie, a lot. Um, my name is Ivanda Samuel, a performing artist and uh, activist as well. I'm uh, grateful to be sending this video and humbled at the same time. I may say um, I've seen Bonnie, I, well, yes, I saw Bonnie in our teens. Um, I used to be uh, the CEO of uh, Exposure Dance Company, which was situated in Bueogeriri. Uh, that's uh, on your way to Mukono. And um, I used to be the choreographer, the director of that uh, company. And Bonnie came and joined us on our second, uh, second wave. That means the new artists around. And it was really, really nice to meet someone who was very humbled. You know, I think even up to now, all of you may, who have uh, interacted with him, do observe that he's very humble and uh, God-fearing and also very constructive and innovative. Uh, a man with few words, very professional, very quiet, calm, organized. I don't even know whether he knows how to quarrel. Maybe Simonye Zangako. But I really love to work with him. I met Bonnie in 2001 in Chireka. And uh, we did a lot of things together after we met. One of them included dancing. Uh, we did our first song together. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Yes, you might argue I used to sing for some reason. It happened. Uh, we did our first music video together and um, Bonnie went on to do so many other things and uh, one of the things I think that stood out for him among us, all the arts things is uh, acting well he found his space like we all do in the end hi guys my name is Sadiq Mugisha and uh, I would like to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate you on uh, this uh, event that you put together I met Olem or Lord Bonnie, uh, what, 2004, just before divisions, and I met you accidentally. <clears throat> but uh, I have to say, um, you've grown into someone who is uh, trustworthy and and uh, hardworking and focused. I kind of already saw the growth mindset you had from the beginning, and I believe it's the reason why we are now here, 2023. I met Lord. Bonnie in 2010 on the set of Yogera, which was being uh, produced and directed by Donald Mugisha, now known as Sadiq Mugisha. And Lot by then was already like, I could tell that he's going to really be something amazing in the future because the concentration we had, um, the connection we had even as um, in the roles that we were playing together, because in that scene I was acting as a deaf mute and he's trying to speak to me with a stutter he acted as though he had a stutter and he pulled it off the whole movie 
Tina ye. What do Kachi? On a farm, this way, Ningano Tamborun Yankori. Don't ya? Yens my name is Ayen Thompson Steve. I'm the CEO of uh, Tonga Media, uh, Tonga Entertainment. Um, I'm basically here to celebrate Bonnie, a man that has given his life to serve, a man that has given him, himself to love people, a man who loves God so much. Um, I've known Bonnie for, for so many years now, and uh, I can tell you the first time I encountered Bonnie was in a film. I saw a film that was shot in, in Karamoja. When I saw the actor in the film, I was so impressed. I had to look for the producer. But it was hard because, you know, people are so scattered in the film industry. But it was easy for me to, to, to identify Alex, Alex Retta. So when I talked to Alex about Bonnie, Alex was like, you need to work with Bonnie. I said, no, I should have worked with Bonnie like yesterday. Uh, we met at um, a certain studio. We are doing a radio drama called Rock Point. But ever since then, we became friends, brother and sister, colleagues. I don't regret working with him. And I always prayed to have a project with him on a one on one basis. And God answered my prayers. Of course, later coming out of uh, Nakasamuama School, I joined Chamogo University. And we met when I was at university. And that time, Bonnie was part of a music a group, uh, singing dance hall. And so he continued with the art, craft, and, and doing art. Then, at one moment, I remember he got in touch with Don. And that's the name we used to call him as a director at the time. And uh, he entered into movies and, and, and acting. So I'm so honored and privileged to be here because I've, I've been closely watching Bonnie from a distance. Him doing his art, uh, acting in various movies, taking on roles here and there. And he's really grown. I also learned some time back that he was part of the Kampala series. Then there's a movie acted uh, recently about, about um, uh, the bus. Yes, I don't, I don't remember the title, but uh, he's been doing the art craft. So I'm so honored to be here and support him in his 20-year journey of, of, of art and acting. And I'm so privileged that he's made many marathons. I see him go big places. And I've always told him he's got a lot of talent, which was nurtured from a nurse at the time. So I encountered Bonnie and, you know, what I saw was a man so honest, so loyal, so prayerful, and you know, when when we talked, he was so respectful, and we shared so many things within a very short time, and it was so easy for us to blend uh, because our spirit had connected, and I realized that this was the calling of the spirit, and I realized that you know, you reach a point and you ask yourself, I should have met this man very many years ago. Mostly, it was really, really nice to find a, a team that was uh, loyal. And loyalty is one of the keys to progress and success in life. I don't want to say too, too much, but there's a few, like he said, like Chideka, Ghettos and all that. It was, there were a few moments that I got to learn so many things from Bonnie. From the fact, that, uh, the way they lived. It was humbling to see that even as he had had a harder space uh, than I did at that time, he never ever thought of doing anything wrong or reaching out to breaking people's things, houses and all that. He believed that it was better to work hard, push harder and make things work. He's good to work with. He's a friend, he's caring, he's a listener, he's a dad. He's a father, calm, collected, straightforward, trustworthy. 
God gave him all. I can't ask for more. And um, for some reason, life is lived forward but can only be understood backwards. You only have to live a bit and then look back and say, oh, okay, this is something I've been doing for so long. I think I understand it now better. And what I've learned when I look back on the life we've had, me and uh, uh, Bonnie, is dude is persistent. And one of the things that makes me say that is the ninja graduated <laughs> almost 17 years after senior six. That is that is persistence. I, I can't describe any other thing that I've learned from Lord. Like persistence. He's he, he showed me that you know what? Um if you intend to do something, no matter how long it takes, please do it. And um that is something that I, I, I keep here. Persistence. I entrusted Bonnie with one of my projects uh that is running and um he did so, so well, and, you know, he, he made me feel like I didn't even need to be there as a director. Uh, he, did, he did justice to my project, and I just left him to run the project. Up to now, I don't even go to the studio uh, for the project. He, he, he does it like he's doing his own projects. So, um, I know it's your birthday, and uh, I would like to wish you a very happy birthday, Bonnie. Um, I'm not only going to pray for you, but pray for your children as well. May God bless you. Your home will never lack water and bread. And uh, your children will be wise, smart, and I love you. Thank you. Congratulations a lot on this journey. And uh, we, you know, always celebrate your milestones. <laughs> Do not wait for people to give you the flowers. Um, but you deserve the flowers. You are such a humble, down-to-earth, grounded, hardworking person. And you're very talented. And I'm glad to know you. Happy celebration. May God watch over you always. Toss to life. And let us create amazing stuff. Cheers. He's very talented. He's very loving and i'm glad to have met you bonnie and i'm glad to be able to know you up to now may god bless you in your journeys may god uh, provide for family and uh, also to your ministry be blessed and to all of you keep supporting bonnie godspeed and um if there's anything else i have to say is uh i congratulate you uh for pulling this off I remember he used to want to be a Balam can you imagine like an event organizer in I don't know from the time I met you you wanted to do uh, shows and uh, good that you pulled this off um, I wish you the best and uh, um, what else do I have to say what else do I have to say I don't know we it's been a long journey we've lost friends um, but we are still alive um, among us all the guys that uh, we used to hang with um, I don't know man uh, I wish you the best uh, in whatever you're trying to do thank you Bonnie for being my friend and I'll continue to be your friend and your colleague and I do believe that uh, once he continues with his art and craft he will do much better he will grow and he will be able to deliver uh, exciting uh, roles. I believe there is a lot we are yet to see from him because he has a lot of charisma, he has the right qualities of acting, um, he is good with memorizing scripts and the way he uh, expresses himself uh, in terms of expression, stage management and writing. So uh, I see a very bright future for him and I'm so honored to be uh, chosen by him of course to say something about his journey and I wish him all the best. I can only say the sky is the limit for you, body. Thank you. I would like to encourage you to bless more people and uh, guide more people because we lack a lot of mentors and we lack a lot of people like you who share their knowledge and share uh, the skills they have with those that are up and coming. Being an orphan, him and his brothers have been able to uh, grow into very strong and uh, God-fearing and uh, uh, ambitious young men all the way from Oyam district. 
continue being an inspiration to uh, everyone you come across and uh, may God protect us all and may he put favor and blessings onto whatever you're doing and uh, I'll see you on the next one.